Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to be, like, high energy, but I will admit I am fully fucking fried this week. That's right. It's the last week of school, so we've been putting shit together. Yeah. We don't need a ton of hype. It's just the, the replay review, so we're just here to share opinions. Honestly, I'm just going to mostly just listen to you guys do your thing, because I'm interested to see what you guys come up with. Mm-mm. You and need to be you guys... AJ now. Do have... you want me to be AJ? Just be AJ real quick. Do you want me to say the wrong thing then? Should I have <laughs> bad opinions? Um, no, I, for the most part, I kind of wanted to let you guys run the show for this and then only really be there in case you guys had a question. If you guys were like, do you think that's right? Or like, you know, is, is it better to go for boost here? Then yeah, I'd hop in. But for the most part, I kind of just want to hear what you guys think. Nick, how would you know how to play Rocket League? That's true. That's why it's up to you guys to ask me. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't got any authority in this shit. You know, I don't think I've ever analyzed a game before, so we'll see how this. We'll see how this goes. You know. All right. So um, we have two options. Get ready to here. see your problems laid out bare. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it makes it makes me feel bad when I look at my replays. I feel like a dumbass. Oh, you know, it does, true. dude. Same. Yeah, I'm gonna look. I'm, it's gonna. I'm gonna like see myself try to do a half flip, but I'm just gonna fucking fail this. Especially when I have that fucking timeline up, and I'm like, oh, we make a mistake right fucking here. <laughs> I know what's coming. I know what's coming, and then you just see that it's you doing the half flip fuck up leading to the goal. And it's yep. like, shit. It was me. It was me. I was searching for the whole time. All right. All right, all right. Are we doing this through Discord video or are we doing it just pulling up the live stream? Uh, right now, I am uh, cooking some za. So for this first one, um, uh, I'm just going to probably mute and I'll watch it through the stream. Za. Here, let's see if it will work this time. Share your screen. You know, the good thing is, though, about replay reviews, this is the perfect time to bring up issues, because, like, mid-game or mid-session being like, hey, I wish you did this more can create a problem. Yeah. Or make someone too focused on something. But during the replay review, no, it's just the strat. Especially, like, between games and shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Parker, do you see my screen? You start a thing up. Um... Okay, I, I see the Discord. Discord. I see that Discord stream. It's up to you guys to tell me whether it fucking sucks again or not. Uh, I won't really know until it starts. And if it does suck, I'll just switch All over right. to Twitch and look through there. Are we watching all of them? Are we watching just the wins, just the losses? Do we start with mute. scrimmages? Where we got absolutely shit on. Parker. Uh, Fuck, I can't hear you at all. Yeah, Parker, I'd rather hear The Office, dude. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to plug into my fucking email because I got logged out of my Twitter. How do I oh, turn okay. him up? He's the quietest motherfucker alive right now. <laughs> all right, I turned him all the way up. I have them all the way up. I it could. didn't help at all. Yeah. <laughs> Am I that quiet? You are insanely quiet. Parker the mouse. How do we start this? Do we do we just cry for a bit? All right, All right let's do it. We cry. Do that, and then I go to here. I have no idea what you just said. All right, 
Fuck it. We'll start with the first one. Do we want to watch it from someone's perspective or just kind of... Oh, I'm switching to the Twitch stream. This is bad. Okay. Yeah, I want to Twitch stream as well. So a little bit delayed, yes, uh, but... Minnesota had the worst air quality in all of the U.S. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of in the... Th we're in the thick of it. Do we want to watch from just one person's perspective? I have cranked myself. Oh my god, I can hear you. I've cranked myself up. Y'all gonna hear some office. I can hear Parker now. And, um, honestly, so, uh, you, know, you know what, never mind, I'm good. No, hit me with it. I want to hear your ideas. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, there's like a couple ways to go about it. The director cam's not gonna show full rotation. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation would be to watch the replay through two times from each person's perspective, and then anytime there's a question of rotation, get a bird's eye view. All right, Parker, how would you like to start this? Um, I doesn't does not matter. I say we just follow who's like on possession, I suppose, and we can kind of take a look for on that. All right. All right, let's watch my shit kickoffs. <laughs> you ready? I'm so ready. So not ready. Oh my god, the kickoff. Parker, I will say, I love that you let that one go. That was beautiful. I don't even, I, I didn't see what I did. Here, ready, ready. It's it's so simple, yet so underrated. Ready, this ball, you 50, it goes up the wall, and you're like, nope, nope, I'm good. Later. <laughs> I love that. Nah, <laughs> fuck it later. I like that. Just later. I uh I've gotten I got a little scared in the corner, man. I, don't, I, don't want to I like to that. No, I get that, and I like I, I like that you were like, nah, nah. You know what? Let them take the touch. Oh, let them do it. Especially in I the corner, get... like they're more than likely not going to get a good shot there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to give him a little possession on the corner. Yeah, I got a little fucked up though. AJ with the touch. <laughs> Parker with the touch. Oh. We might just be disgusting. Oh, I remember this fucking game. Uh, this was Dude, game that was the shot. first game of the day. Yeah, we, this was the, this was a hot session. I remember. We were going we were going off. I uh I think this is right when the ranks reset too. Yeah. That would make sense. So we got such high games. We were the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Okay. Boop. Bam. Okay. I think obviously I don't remember exactly because it's been what two weeks, but uh. Yeah. We should probably communicate in that situation. Yeah. That's at least that's what it looked like to me. I wonder if I went up, didn't say anything, and AJ looks like he's just kind of big scared here. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's one thing that I noticed. Um, I noticed we do well when we communicate. And yeah. We kind of start falling off. and we Because, like, watch him. He boosts and then breaks. If you watch AJ here. Boost. At least I think that was boost. Yeah. 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 They were a little like hezzy. And then everybody bumping, and then yeah. Yeah. But we put it back together. Put it back together. Yeah. Yeah. Massive demo by them. Took out our best player. <laughs> I will give AJ credit here. 
He rotates really well here. Making sure to take that third man spot instead. Yeah. I mean, shit happens. It's a goal. Big sad, but like, it's one yeah, one. I think, the only thing, I think the only thing that AJ could have done different here is probably like push in and like sit on that, like, mm. on that post. Cover that post while I while I go for ball instead of instead of I don't know, like that's like net. yeah but like that's also one of those things where it's like all right cool where the fuck is the guy gonna go is this like yeah. the most the most optimal place to probably be is probably the post but like he was also in a good place anyways so I wouldn't I wouldn't really care either way it also depends on like where the play is developing too yeah. All right, AJ, hit this kickoff. I see you going up for that ball. Oh, we vibe here. We let them just take touches. Yeah, big touch, big touch. I like the 50 attempt there. You know, I can't help but feel... I could have had better spotting, better uh, better rotation in that spot, you know? Mm. Little situation. I get what you mean. That corner felt uh, felt sluggish. I think that's just, I, I don't know how often you're playing, at least. I know I'm mostly playing, like, twice a week now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I probably play, like, when we put practice. I was going to say, so it could just be, like, we just need to keep getting the reps in. True. Room. Use the rotation. What? Uh, what's feeling? What? Yep. The flu The fluidity of play. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I like you going for that ball. And this is gonna sound weird because I probably complained about it in the moment. I do like that AJ is back here. Yeah. Because how many times have, and all three of us do it, have we seen this situation and go, ooh, ball. <laughs> <laughs> got his friend up there, yeah. That's true. I'd, I'd probably be pulling the fucking out if I saw that. No, I I right. know I do it constantly. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to, it'd be nice to pull the fuck back a little bit. So I'm I'm very happy to see that we had a third man back. And that's just one of those sick things that we just kind of have to keep our spacing a little mm -hmm. bit. I think, uh, I think it was brought up last session that you know it's one of the things we need to do is spread ourselves a little bit more instead of being mm. caught on one side or in one corner. Also, something I did see with AJ here, I like that he keeps him to the outside, especially he sees that there's like no real good way to dribble it up the wall. I don't know if that's what he saw in the moment, but yeah. To see him push him to the outside like that was good. Oh, man. And then we just kind of bounce the ball back and forth a bit. And then we and then we bounce the ball. And the ball keeps bouncing. Yeah. Yeah, we missed, we missed some plays up here. Oh, man. We're all oh, feeling you got, ourselves. You got, that, was a, that was a nice catch. I like the fucking good take. Thanks. Look at that. We're all in like a nice spot here. So we're all like yeah. they got that triangle going. We're all kind of just like covering each other. I want to see. I'm trying to play off each other. That was the outside. Where are we all at? You're in a good spot. Adrian's in a good spot. I'm probably too far off to that side here. I should probably yeah. be a little closer to that center. Well, I mean, even still, even still, you're probably pretty good there. Uh, I was just and immediately like. Over yeah. Like ten seconds ago, we had a really good like. We all touched the ball. We all kind of like progressed play. I thought it went. I thought it went pretty well. That's. I think it was that. Plus, at least I'm like turned towards our net here, so I'm. I assume I'm moving towards our net. Let's hope. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yeah! Oh Ball yeah! Came here. Let's see. What's our, what's what are we looking like? Oh, we looking, we looking. AJ's a little deep in that net, but uh, other than that, we looking good. 
Uh, yeah. I, I assume I go mid sure. boost here. Is Wall going down or is it going straight back? Where's Wall going? Where's Wall going? That's yeah, just down. Down towards you. That's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's an absolute spot. beaut. All right, let's see what you got here, AJ. You know what? He went up for it. I should oh, have yeah. a double jump there, but that's okay. Just a heads up. I am like five seconds behind you on the on the vid. That's so okay. if I am responding slow or... Nope, I completely get it. I did the same thing with Nick a couple weeks ago, I think. Fair enough. If you want me to slow down too, just let me know. If you want me to stop at all, if you want me to... If you nah, want me to do chill. anything, just let me know. I nah, chill. Yeah, you're doing good. I like the pause though. Boom. Oh. Boom. Boom. Probably. What? My view is probably best for this. Nice. Good touch. That was a bad touch by me. Now you're shutting me out. No, that's not even too bad. I think in that spot, it's just good to get touch on it. That's fair. My guess is I was probably trying to get like under it and just got there late. Yeah. And at that point, it's like a nice look. Yeah. AJ with the quick, the quick touch right there. Get back up. He's he's in a good spot for that. Yeah. Definitely a play. <laughs> oh fucking no! They got a nice fucking toss up though. That's a that's a nice pass. Parker with the big massive Nads save right here. Yeah, the goal line stand, Parker. How do you feel about that? That was, uh, I remember that was, that was stressful as hell. So that guy lined into the fuck up, and I'm like, oh shit, what do I do? What do we do? But you know what? You did it, and you know you can do it. And we're very proud of you. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. Jeez. Big save by AJ. Please tell me I'm in an okay position here. Okay, I'm getting boost and probably turn the wrong way, but we're going to pretend that's not the case. I like that you saw the demo and moved towards it just to put some pressure on. And that's why. Oh, nice. That was dirty. Yeah, you had a good place, dude. That's nice fucking nice fucking like, placement on that shot. Thanks. I like your I like your pressure you put on there because it it did make them. It didn't force them to double commit, but like I don't know what oh, they. I see, were, I see my man's out of there. I'm fucking pushing forward on that second. Oh, they're solo defender. queue. Oh yeah, no, they are. They are both panicking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Tyler, why would you ever take that touch? Silly bastard, Tyler, you. Yeah, that's not bad, Oh, I thought you had that. Oh, the assist of the century. I thought you had the shot. Oh, dude, that was fucking tasty. That was such a good follow up, too. Dude, we might just be goaded. I I don't know. We might just be the best team in Rocket League ever. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, we just gotta we gotta fucking polish off some some bits here, get a little clean. I heard yeah, they used to call you be... Squishy Muffins back in the day. Did they really? That's that's what I've heard. <laughs> uh, an old name from another time. Another time, another team. Jeez, I don't remember just being 2016 Rocket League here about Squishy Muffin. <laughs> like, it's squishy. What is that? Did you ever see the uh, the video NRG did where Shaq played with the team? Uh, I don't think so. 
dude, he had my favorite line ever. Because, like, they would go soft on him and just... Because he's an owner in NRG. Yeah. Um, But they would just start going soft on him and, like, let him score and shit. And he just goes, I never lose to a man named Squishy. <laughs> oh, that was fucking... Love that, was that cool. line. I never knew we'd lose to a man named Squishy. Never lose. AJ with the big save. Parker, I like that you're going towards the middle here. Keep the pressure on. Oh, I love the boost pathing. Oh, I love it. That's all I can do. That no, that is a, a skill I need to learn right there, and I've been I've been trying I've been meaning to get on and, and learn it off. And that is the uh, jump off the wall and then fucking continue my my air. That's fair. Touch. That fifty yeah. was so crucial, and I love that you went for it. I love that you had the confidence for that. It makes me so happy. Fifty is this. It's it looks like a very non consequential fifty, but it's a two goal lead with ten seconds left. That was the ball pops up and you still just go for it, even though you see him going. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, okay, guy. Yeah, okay, we take guy. those. We take those fifties. See? We can win sometimes. Hell yeah, look at that shit. We didn't have some fucking banger sessions. Oh, maybe we should fucking check out a shittery game. Yeah. As bad I don't as that want feels. to, but I feel like we should. Uh, too, too much gas. Uh, what do you think? I feel like you should come away from every game viewing with something. What do, um, what do you mean? Like, what, I gotta come away with, uh, with a learning opportunity here? Yeah, there's always... Anytime you look at a VOD, you guys... Would you say you played perfectly? No. no. So, I would de define this in two ways. There's the mechanical aspect, and then there's the uh, the team aspect, the rotational aspect. Uh, I would say put down, like, one or two things for each, like what you would think is prioritized in terms of mechanics and then rotations that you think you could do better. Um, so that way you're not looking at the game just being like, oh, we popped off. Like, no shit, yeah, you won. But, like, you could probably could have won, I don't know, better even. Yeah. It's like I was talking to uh, to Troy and um, to Troy and Colin about the NBA Finals, and I'm like, I'm sure that team goes home feels good, but I'm sure the coach is probably still thinking, ah, well, but we could have done this, and we would have had a yeah. better chance. Or like, even though they won, they're still. So always come away from a from a vod with at least one to two things that you put on the priority list for things to keep in mind. All right, mine is. Um placement and being able to hop off the wall placement like ball placement yeah just like uh play sorry yeah like my aerial placement okay i think for me a it's gonna be you know actually playing the fucking game but <laughs> that'll that'll come once this week's fucking over because work has been killing me this week um other than that that i'm not even writing that down that i just know internally i have to do um, I want to work on, like, that dumb touch off that kickoff that I was, like, roasting myself about. Like, I don't need to just go and touch the ball constantly. Just let it roll. Sometimes just let it roll, Tyler. You can take it off the wall instead. You can take it. You don't need to go. <laughs> and I think... Um, probably a lot more. I need to absolutely. I saw a couple of times I was going for hundreds. I should not have been going for hundreds. I should have just gone pads and then back. Okay. Uh, yes, Nick. Uh, well, I, I like I like all the things that were said. Um, yeah, you. I was about to bring something up with you, but you you solved it because I was going to say, well, that's just a mechanics thing. Is there anything outside of mechanics? But boost pathing is one of those. Parker, you're uh. Your two things of uh, precision when touching the ball and then the mechanics of being able to hop off the ball. Uh, do you have anything in terms of rotation? Something that doesn't have to do with what you're doing necessarily with the ball that you feel like you could do better? 
uh, whether that's like defensive rotations or boost pathing, or is there anything yeah, in that I'd wheelhouse probably, you feel like you'd work on? Uh, I'd probably say rotation, probably. Sometimes I'll I'll hop off my rotation a little bit, and I'll hop into like a, I don't know, I'll turn on the ball a little bit too often. You feel so like you're I'll, too aggressive? Well, sometimes I'm a little too aggressive. Okay. I'm usually coming off of twos games, I'm like that, but... And that's fair. Yeah. I will also say that was the first game, like, as a team of the day, so it would make sense. True. Okay. So so both of you have patience, and then Parker wants to learn how to hop off the wall, and Tyler wants to work on boost pathing, and... Um, no, patience was a part of the mechanics thing, because you, when you take your time, you have time to dribble or to hop up for it. Okay. Yeah, especially, sure. like I was saying, like... AJ got beat off kickoff, and I was like, ooh, touch ball. And I just took a fucking awful touch, and it just, like, rolled up into the <clears throat> corner anyways. Yeah. Uh, to be AJ stand-in, what I would work on is just mechanics. I feel like my world would explode if I knew how to jump for the ball. Also, rotate back post. That, too. <laughs> that is a huge thing. Tyler, you've actually been doing that a lot more that I've seen. That's that's good. Taking the, uh, the a little bit of a wider rotation, so you have a, a bigger outlook on the play, versus cutting in shallow, so you leave yourself with less options. You uh, you've been working on that. I think that's part of. Obviously, I've been lacking it lately. But when I was really good at boost pathing, I think that's kind of when it kind of hit. Was like, oh, I get more boost this way anyways, and can do cool thing. Why not yeah. just do cool thing? Yeah, I do find myself as well, even in GC lobbies, uh, focusing too hard on the 100 boost because I'm like, well, I got to boost starve the enemy or I want 100 so I can do something cool. Yeah. Nah, I could just pick up 40 and be a part of the play instead of taking myself out of it. Yeah, if I got like, you know, 24, 36, like I, I can I can chill back post with that. Yep, definitely. Uh, that was that was one of the biggest things, at least in the beginning. I think AJ will probably have to go through that too, that you really only need... I mean, at the bare minimum, you only need 12 to cover the net. I mean, yeah. it's not great, but you could cover the net with just 12. 24 is basically your your bear for getting from right spot. post to left post. That's like your, your standing point. So if you pick up two pads, you're ready to defend. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm gonna mute again. I just wanted to make sure you guys came away with something because I could see you guys were about to move on, and I'm like, no, there were still things in the game that you guys could do. <laughs> well, wait, did you okay, have anything on. from like a third this party is... perspective? Yeah. Uh, Parker said he was too aggressive. I don't think Parker. I don't think you're too aggressive. I think you're just aggressive um, in the wrong spot. No, like, I th- I know I know what I know what uh, um, my problem is. It's like it's like. I just turn on the wrong. I turn in the wrong places. I should be. Uh, I should be just like taking that wider rotation. That's. I mean, that's something. I was just. There were two plays that stood out to me. One was a. Uh, it was either AJ or Tyler hit a clear up the right wall. You were going. You were already going towards right mid boost. You decided to turn on that, and I like that. You were already right there with boost, so that gives some chance to rotate out. That just makes yourself a first man. I don't think that's over aggressive. Uh, and the other one was there were a couple corner plays where the ball could have got to mid, um, and you hung out close mid instead of uh, a little bit further away and towards the wall, um, especially when you had a teammate on the other side of the field. Now, I don't mind being aggressive there. I just feel like the placement of where your car was on the field could have been like, I don't know, like three car lengths back and to the right, and you would have been perfect. Um, but that's... Again, that's that's little stuff. We're not we're not going to talk about like yeah. <laughs> car length car length decisions. So I I just would say don't be scared of being aggressive. Like don't don't push away from putting pressure on the ball because a, a big thing with threes is chaining together a, a lot of offensive plays. Like when someone touches the ball, if he's not going to stay with it, you want someone there to be backup or to or to cut in for him. Yeah. So it's not bad to be aggressive. You just need to know how to recover. So I would say, as much as you want to be patient, and I do agree with that, just keep that in mind. All right. I will also say, like, this is going to sound weird, but <laughs> especially when we're up in the offensive event, I end up being the guy going for those 50s all the time. It's nice not being the only one who's doing it, mm-hmm. as weird as it sounds. All right. It's nice knowing, like, 
you have the confidence and you have that like you're going for those 50s you're going for those balls i did like the uh the final 50 parker had against fang 777 because i i didn't know if he was going to make it or not but i like the idea that regardless of making it or not you're the first man and this is going to be their offensive clear you may as well make the push for it and then recover back to net and the 50 ended up working in your favor so i think that was a good decision that's just something I do when I play sports, man. I do that when I fucking play soccer. <laughs> uh, it is also harder as well. I mean, I don't know the comms. So, like, you know, seeing yeah, someone push and then being like, well, does he have a teammate to push with or not? You know, would change decisions. But that's yeah. why I'm upset with myself. Yeah. I didn't get last week's videos because I'm like, damn, we could have fucking like remembered some of the comms in the moment. I don't I don't remember a lot of this session, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But either way, you guys played great. I mean, just some some defensive things and some offensive things. But I don't think you guys were doing anything that was like, you know, um, in, in pure decision making. There was no like, oh, that was a terrible choice to even attempt that. Yeah. Everything was like, okay, that could have worked. You know, it's just mechanics. Okay. So you guys are fine. All right. Do we watch a loss now? I see a two to five loss. Yeah, let's do it. I right. do see an overtime loss. Oh, OT loss could be spicy too. Do we do OT loss or do we do five two loss? Let's do the OT loss. That's not sick. All right, all right, all right. right. Let's do this. OT loss time. Oh my god! And the first player it zooms in on is I suck toes. (laughs) It's right up in his face. Toes. Yo, you got toes. Man's got the toes. My guy got that toe vision. Let's let's see this this kickoff from yeah. We'll watch from your perspective. Even though you're not the guy going for it, it's nice to see it from farther back. All right. I feel. Oh yeah, that's it. I want to see how far away from this he was. You'll see it in a second. <laughs> I see. He took a like really wide rotation here. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought he just missed from the like when I was seeing it from your perspective, but wow, he wow. Nate Olson does that shit too. I hate it. I know. <laughs> all, right, all right, we continue. Where am I here? Hold up. That is something I'm guilty of all the time. So I'll come in and I'll steal the ball from AJ sometimes. I feel bad about it. AJ should have rotated there. I'm, I'm not going to lie. He. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'm like a distance away or maybe I'm. No, he should have. He should have rotated here. He's he's staying a little too long. Yeah, well, I'm just like, I have the momentum. I'm just going to take it. That's I fair. feel like I'm yeah. in a better position for it. So that's why I do do it. But it's like one of those things where it's like, I don't, I don't sh- should I do it? Especially, I probably called third man. So you're probably like, oh, just move, you know? Yeah. You have the recovery. I like that. Crazy. Holy shit, dude. What did I do? <laughs> No, nah, but you yeah, recovered. No, re- you got no, but I recovered. Yeah, we recovered. we recovered. That's what I'm saying. The recovery. <laughs> Good serve out. Oh, and I, way to be the second man there. That's a nice try for that aerial. I do fucking love that shit. Let's get that little extra little little boop. I feel like that's just like, that's got to be one of my favorite things in this game is that second man. Like you yeah. get that, you're just like chilling behind AJ as he's pushing up and he, as he sends it up, some other dude hits it and then you're right behind him and you're like, yeah. ah, I'm fucking ready for it, bitch. Let's go. Nice shot, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What the fuck happened here? What did... Adrian with the wide fucking rotation again. <laughs> oh, the wide, yeah. We just spoke yeah, about this. 
You gotta go to the fucking side. You well, gotta well, keep well, it in goal side. Putting it in the notes. I put it in the notes. <laughs> Stop going. Oh, I should have a note thing open, actually. I don't. I I'm so disorganized, though. It's probably not a good idea for me. To I'm do just this. writing stuff down on a piece of paper I had on my desk already. <laughs> I'll try to remember next time we talk about this. All right, all right. Zero zero game. A minute in, it's zero zero. I don't know how that happened. Somehow we're doing a kickoff again. <laughs> Bros that suck toes. Touch. Okay. Oh, you fucking dirty with it though. I was gonna say did not expect did not expect that, but alright, here we go. Hell yeah. That's good first beat. That's why that's the one of those situations where somebody needs to be your second man, and then they'll they'll yeah. have that fucking uh that secondary. Cause that first beat's crazy. And at uh, that point, that's all you're doing. Actually, do you mind? Do you mind if we back up uh, to before, right after the kickoff and the ball was flying down towards Tyler? Can we see that from Parker's perspective? Parker's perspective, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, I I need to go back for a second. I need to figure out what the fuck is AJ doing here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm no, sorry. Am I the only one who noticed he's just falling from the ceiling all of a sudden? No, I was I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you 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 teleported sorry. over the it, perfect time. Nick, you you tell me your thing first. I, I don't have anything. I just wanted to see it because oh, okay. uh, the, the second man wasn't there. And then when we paused it the first time, I saw Parker back in the corner. And I'm like, yeah. wait, was Parker the one going for face off? Or the so I wanted to see what happened. And I'm like, okay, yeah. a little passive, but like he didn't. I like that he was playing I passive. Saw, no, I, I should have. I should have been in there. I probably no, been in there. no, no, you actually should not have. Really? AJ was already there because AJ yeah. was already there. And then yeah. I wanted now we're already going to see what happened. I mean, AJ's just got to learn mechanics, man. I feel like he isn't able to turn his car at all. <laughs> so knowing how to use his car would just help him out a shit ton. Yeah. It's like uh, me playing with uh, Parker in twos where I'm like, just just get closer. But AJ can't get closer because he can't go up. Mm. What is he? I'm watching this at 50%. I need to think of the thought process. Oh, he gets bumped. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. So oh, yes, I will say at this, at this point in the play, he I mean, it hasn't turned. been too long since face off, but uh, I, he, I mean, he still could turn. He just he can't. He just didn't touch it <laughs> at all. Um, I feel like at that point in the play, so face off happened, ball went down, Tyler dribbled, got a flick, and then and the other guy was there to to stuff it. At that point. There should have already been a person who was second man behind. Uh, right now, as we see the pause screen, that orange line, yeah, uh, to the to the white line there, somewhere in that zone, there should be a second man ready for the touch. That's kind of where AJ was. He fucked up, and then Parker probably should have already been in the left zone while AJ was there. But it does turn out it was better for him to be back as AJ missed. Um, yeah. So, I, I mean, nothing, nothing too bad besides AJ can't touch ball. But does he have power slide bound? <laughs> Does he know what the X button is? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What are we? Uh, we'll go. We'll, we'll watch some of Parker here. We'll watch it at full speed instead of that half speed. Because good touch, good save. I should have been there faster. Hand confirm. Oh, toes man came in. I was too busy focused on boost. Oh, no worries. Um, That's where I should have used the path. Again. Yeah, yeah, it's probably... Yeah, it's just one of those things. My bad. All right. It's okay. But we get this one yeah. back. Easy. 
It kind of looks like I could do with an afro for a moment there. That frame was kind of sweet. <laughs> Okay, AJ gets the touch. We all miss, but it's beautiful. It works out perfectly. Exactly how we all planned it. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice carry. It's a nice carry off the corner. That one, I don't know. I don't know how, at least for me, I would describe that. Because, like, yeah, you're turning around. Yeah, you're. But it's also because, like, is AJ going? Is he just going to sit there? Is he? He's technically should be making the decision faster there. Yeah. But that's okay. That comes with playing together. This is one I kind of wish I knew what the comms were because I don't know if either of us called it, if either of us called each other off, if either, you know. Yeah. But I, I like that both of our yeah. I like that both of our yeah. mindsets there is to close off, like mm -hmm. just kill them away time. from the goal. Yeah, out of the, out of their fucking spot. Get a touch on it. Yeah. It's just me stealing Toza's boost. <laughs> AJ, where are you <laughs> going here? <laughs> this angle. I just... You gotta... Are you going mid boost? Are you not? Are you just... You know, I feel like that's one of those situations where you probably rotate back third. But I don't know what is. Yeah, I definitely rotate back through because I'm carrying ball, right? I think so. So the play goes in. Watch here. Take the touch, and then you keep the aggression, which I like, even after getting bumped. But, like, AJ didn't, I don't, did he know where he was on the field? Oh, wait, we're, we're facing Argo. What the hell? Okay, wait a second. I got, to, I got flipped around here. Yeah. Yeah, you get bumped, but you keep the aggression, which I like. Yeah, I did definitely just turned on ball here. And I like that 50. I like that, that shut it down right there. It does not matter where the ball goes from there. Yeah. Forcing a shot. I like that. Oh, fucking gorgeous save, too. How much boost did AJ have here? Okay, this is not anything against you. This is not... You wouldn't have the information of how much boost AJ has. He should call you off this ball. Okay. Because, like, this situation, I've been there, it's just, it's awkward. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, and I get that. And I, I hate being there. I hate that situation. I would love to just, like, fucking he should be back like, or just be, like, off of it. He should tell you to just go forward. Or one of, honestly, I probably should. He should call you off the ball, and I should be telling you, like, go forward. Yeah. Just I based on go where or both here. of us are. Yeah. But that is okay. Again, we're a team. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah, we, we're learning. We're learning. Amber, ber, helper. <laughs> I do like that you stay aggressive, though. Since, like, you haven't really, as far as I can tell, like, you haven't really heard anything. Yeah. Oh, fucking so close. Beauty. 
I like the way you rotate out of the play here. Where you, like, take it. You see the play is not near the wall, so you're just like, all right, on the wall, stay out. Let them Get play it. Out of there, man. Sometimes I take the sometimes I take the wall into it to like get the fuck out of the way and then the the play just ends up being on the wall anyway. And I'm like shit, I should not be here right now. I will say here going for this aerial while going backwards, at least in my opinion, is like extremely dangerous. Yeah, I hate doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I would say probably either just wait. I mean, obviously, you don't know exactly where the ball is going to go. Yeah, it's one of those situations yeah. where, you know, Nick was, Nick was telling me, like, the best situation is just to catch it at the, like, where it yeah. meets it's the end of its fucking arc. Like, you're on the ground about where it's going to go. You can't really do anything without a, without a jump. I was going to say, probably just, like, don't even Be go backwards it. there. Stop and just try to meet it in the air somewhere. Yeah, instead of trying to do some weird fucking, like. Yeah. However, I will say. You hit it. Um, that's I fucking did. sick. <laughs> I did hit it. Can somehow. That's when I was feeling like balling. You can do some fucking crazy shit, and you hit it, and you're like, oh, I'm just got today. Let's yep. go. AJ, why are you cutting anyone off with nine boosts? Hey, two and nine boosts in a dream, man. And then missing mid boost. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right. We continue. I'm telling you, AJ's only homework right now for me is just mechanics. I swear to God, yeah. being retarded is his only recourse because he just doesn't have mechanics. I know. If he just went into free play and knew how to dribble or knew how to do a normal aerials, he'd be able to get closer to the play. But like as it stands, like what just happened? Parker, Parker sent it over that way. There's no one behind Parker, which means he doesn't have a man left. I'm assuming Tyler's on right side or on back side, which means. <laughs> AJ is going to be next, or or Parker's going to turn in. And regardless of either of those two options of what's going to happen, he cannot make a play from this point. He is too far away from the ball. Yep. <laughs> he has, he is already turning towards net, where the ball is not going to be in two seconds after Faith touches it back towards left side. Oh oh no, he made a right choice. He turned left. This is so a like he. He's not like he's not mentally deficient. This dude isn't like straight up just trying to be bad. I just he just needs mechanics. He needs to be able to like use his car and he'll be able to play the game. Yeah. Every time I've seen every time I've seen like any play where it was AJ's turn next, I'm like AJ just doesn't have the skill set to make a play here. Yeah. So if he had mechanics, he'd be able to actually do anything. He'd be able this... to actually just do something. This position that we've been paused at, like, I think it's really good for twos, probably. Uh, no. Because you can turn one way or the other, but, like... Well, I would say... I'm, uh, I, I, I assume I call on boost stealing. Left, but... I assume I say I'm um, boost stealing, so, like, just go. Just fucking go. One of the... One of the two. I mean, I'm also yeah. okay with not going. I just... Just mechanics, honestly. Just mechanics. In this position, he is third man, though. So, get more That's left fair. side. Shadow. Um, Parker might turn back in, depending on his boost. You guys are probably calming that, so AJ has information I don't right now. Um, but, yeah, he just needs mechanics. Deadass. I feel like if AJ just knew how to, like, dribble or knew how to jump into the air and touch the ball while it was up in the air, he'd be able to actually make plays and get closer to the ball. Nah, dude, he just can't dribble. Yeah. It's not even a shit ton of dribbling in no. threes besides like defensive clears or oh no. Well, all right. I'm gonna shut up again. Okay. You just, you just can't dribble. All right, here we go. We continue. See, and like here he makes the decision to go back, which is fine. Yes, because I pulled the fuck up. Yeah, that's fair. That's okay. That's something you're going to work on. We've been over that. Yep. Don't worry about that wall play. <laughs> that's what we're working on. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I uh, can I actually did I just like go for ball? I just went for ball and I hopped off and I just like yeah, which the last time. It yeah, that's just, that's just a bad, bad thing that happened. It, it, working on it. Working yeah. on it. Good to see it. Good to see it. It shows you know you know what you're working on, and that's okay. That man just matrix dodged me. Holy shit. <laughs> I do love hobbing people trying to demo me. I know. <laughs> It's such a good. You just feel like such a such a G. You're like hell yeah, dude. I was so gangster. Apparently, holy we fuck it, that carry though. That's that was tasty. That's the that's the kind of shit I want to start learning. It's just hopping shit off the wall like that. Like that's tasty, man. Oh my that god. That was. I am so inconsistent with that. That's something I definitely want to work on mechanically. Is coming off the wall and being more consistent with that. Yeah. But you've seen, like, we can do it. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. How's the rotation here? There's going to be a three-minute three minute session of us playing Rocket League. Where <laughs> we just fucking lose. AJ, uh, you did it right that time. So you can do it right. <laughs> let's fucking go. Okay. Good to know he can control his car. <laughs> I spoke fairly soon. My bad there. All right, beauty. We're back in it. I will say, Parker, here. The situation where you mm -hmm. kind of bump him. He still turned that way. Just once you see the ball move past that, just go. Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. I do uh, like yeah. the caution, though. Like, no, especially, did, yeah. especially after that team bump. It makes sense. Yeah. No, I definitely could have pulled up, though. Yeah, especially as he's, he's moving back. Little team bump. Probably was saying sorry and stuff. I didn't really see yeah. what was going on. I just pushed past that shit. Yeah. But you know what? Fuck him. Fuck him. Not not AJ, the, the other team. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. Good touch. Keeping it to the outside. I like that. And I like that body block. It It's a weird thing to talk about in Rocket League because it's under... Not underutilized. I feel like it's not crazy good at a high level, but like when you still have people at our level who are making, you know, decisions like that, like no, getting right in front of them up in their grill as yeah. did not mean that as a car reference, but like it can, <laughs> it can confuse them. Like, yeah, I can fuck them up a little bit. It does, love... it confuses the fuck out of me. I love bumping people a lot. Just, like, bumping them downfield a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like, just, like, bumping them hard enough not to, like, demo them. Just enough to, like, bump them downfield a bit. Or even just, just like, to... fuck them a little bit. Or you get under somebody who's flipping over you and they, they like, land wrong and you're like, yeah, hey, 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 gotcha, bitch. Or you go with the ramp play. The ramp play, yeah, you play the uh, the GTA ramp car. So fucking sick. <laughs> okay, that was a stressful situation at the end there, but we're okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, Tyler, recovery. Please, just recover. I don't want to watch that. Let's yeah. let's watch someone else's perspective. <laughs> hey, that was a good fucking good hit, though. Thanks. Ooh, I like that you went for that. See? Because fuck him. That's why. <laughs> See? I, I like that you went for that. 
Be AJ. AJ, you're a little far back for my liking, but that's okay. It is overtime. Oh, I remember, like, visualizing this pass in my head and then feeling like a big old dumbass when I fucked it up. Watch. That, I uh... see you. I see you up over here on the left. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a good it's a good look. It's a good look. It's just one of those things where yeah. like me on the like me on the corner up here where I probably could have like carried it better and tossed it on and been behind ball like you, you probably could have like got a better yeah. touch on the ball up in the air. But it's just mechanic things. We just got to play a little more, man. We got to get that fucking level. Got to level up. With this, I would say if either of us are in this situation, I would say the same thing for AJ, too. Like, if we're not going to jump for ball, if we're not going to, which he definitely should at that boost, but not the point. Mm -hmm. Just start rotating back. If it passes over you once and you're not going to go for it, just we can just go back, regroup, play some quick defense. Bang. I probably should have gone here. That's one of those, that's that's no, that's like one of those things where that would have been AJ's ball had he's had, if he's like yeah confident enough to go off for a ball. I don't think I've seen him drift yet. I don't I haven't think been I looking have. for that. He might just yeah, have it set on the default thing. button. <laughs> Uh, then I think it might be on right bumper for him. I have mine on X, but you have yours on um, X. That's definitely a huge thing. There was yeah, X, same too. thing for error for I have power slide and normal air roll on X, and then I just have B for my air roll right. Yeah, I have B for my air roll right. I have the same thing actually. Yeah. Um, but there was a point I don't exactly remember. It was in this overtime. The ball. It was right after he should have jumped for it for a redirect, yeah. but it's like AJ's not going to do that. Um, where the ball hit off the corner and he turned towards it and if he had just drifted left, yeah, he would have been in in the in the point to jump and hit it. But he had just normally turned left and then he was like, Oh shit, I can't turn he fast was too enough. Slow, and then he yeah. had to just turn around. Um, Nick, what would you so, yeah. advise in that situation? What in the corner? No, when the ball goes over you like that and like it's kind of in that in between where it's like kind of too close to you to really. So there was two things. the The first thing, uh, when it was first cleared, could have been a redirect. AJ doesn't have the skills. That's fine. On the second one, where it was a low one, and he just ended up flipping into it. I think he might have assumed someone was going to be there, and so he wanted at least a touch for a fifty. Mm -hmm. But um, if he had just like been, I don't know, maybe like a a little bit further away from the play he could have seen there was no one coming and then dribbled it but yeah. i don't think aj can dribble either so again if he had mechanics he had options but he doesn't have mechanics so what he can do is just flip into the ball okay um but uh, definitely on the second one if it was parker i bet you parker would have caught that and just tried to yeah. get a dribble flick um i don't know if he'd be fast enough parker you're still pretty slow about what the time it takes for you to catch and then flick like get control of it but either way, you know, it's it's low. You have a bit of time, catch, flick, you know. But, um, but I don't think <laughs> that all came. I think that all came from originally. I don't think AJ should have been there in the first place. Okay, fair. <laughs> all the way up there. But, you know, when you're there, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> we continue. All right. I'm on, I'm on an ad break. Oh my bad, my bad. Oh shit! Oh, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. We 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 run it. All right, let me know when you're off. Parker, ad, are you telling me you're not subbed? I don't blame him. I am Nick. I haven't streamed yeah. in four days. Sad, bro. I simp every day. <laughs> Best streamer. I actually feel awful that I haven't streamed in the past four days. That's crazy. All right. 
Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. We're All back right. at it. I want to see what's going on here because I have no idea from that perspective. Bah. Ooh, ball. Ooh, good touch. What did AJ do here? After you get that touch. He was also going for the touch. Okay. I do remember once we got into overtime, our comms were like Yeah, we started shoddy. just like devol devolving a little bit. Yeah. So that would be, I would say, comms once it gets later into the game. Yeah, no, that's definitely a huge thing on all of our stuff. And I almost feel like our success is dependent on our comms. Yeah. As that we did get really together bad. as solo queue players terrible. who hate okay, wait, solo queue. What the fuck just happened? Can we, can we analyze that play real quick? Yes. Because they just like got a crazy, almost just like game winning shot. I just want to know how we got a really bad. I don't know how we got in this situation. So we like, oh, we all tucked up in a spot here. We all stuck on one side. Is that what happened? I think so. Yeah, we're, we're all kind of bunched up on that right side. But in all fairness, I wouldn't want you farther left. I don't think. Oh yeah. Okay. I will, I'm on it too. That's just that's crazy. I'm a little confused why AJ tries to stay on this, especially since he knows he doesn't really do aerials much. Yeah, I probably could have. I probably could have pushed him a little if he was off the spot there. I probably could have pushed that a little sooner. Yeah. I would say AJ should probably rotate towards the boost pads here. Go yeah. towards Half that flipped. post. Half flip. Nick, He's backwards the whole way. Nick, we're talking about AJ here. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I would say um, for him, just go boost pads to post. And let you take that, take that aggressive role here. Mm -hmm. Take that first man. I probably wouldn't have gotten that situation. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Uh, all right, moving on. Good rocket league. Pause here. This is something I need to. Nick, you wanted to bring up the car lengths situation earlier. How many car lengths is that? How many car lengths is what? I'm leaving it still on the screen. How many car oh lengths is God. that? 17. Please learn to dribble. 15? Please learn to dribble. Uh, your face cam is covering AJ, but... Uh, I I do know what you're talking about. Please I, can we really quick in this still image right here? Can we see how much boost he has? There's no way he has zero. Oh, he probably just got the hundred. Oh, a hey, zero boost? Then that's fine. That ball was rolling. Pull up to it and then just sit in front of it. And then as soon as the guy's gonna go for it, jump and flip into it for a fifty. That's the perfect play. Dude, I swear to God, people at Diamond to even Champ 2, when you're low boost and you're just like, well, I'm just going to force a giant 50 here, it's beautiful. Yeah. You just go up right next to it and you're just like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. And as soon as you approach, I'm just going to do a single hop. So whatever touch you wanted is blocked. Bye. Those are, those are huge as well. I don't think I've seen either of you guys do that as well. I don't know if yeah. that's a... Um, just like a, it wasn't in the culture of the game. Like sometimes the game itself just doesn't allow for stuff like that. That's fair. But no, um, that, that is a huge thing. Having control of the ball and then just deciding, well, I, I'm not actually making a play. I'm just making sure you can't make a play is a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. Please learn to triple the ball, AJ. For the love of all things holy. Yeah. But I do like that he rotates out here and takes the pads. Yeah, that's a nice rotation. He probably doesn't need to waste all that boost going to get... 
I heard you like boosts, so I used boosts to go get more boosts. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. it happens. Yeah. I also do that time to time. Tyler. Tyler. It was a close-ass challenge. <laughs> yeah, that was I fuck. just... You were just a little high. Yeah... That was perfect. Decision. That's just that's that's just mechanics. I don't think the decision was bad. The decision wasn't bad. It's just I constantly go above and I just need to fix it eventually. Something also that in that same light to bring up is aerial challenges have I feel like uh, pro play kind of ruined this for any level lower even SSL. <laughs> Uh, a lot of aerial challenges don't have to be flying into the ball. Yeah. They can be floating in the air, chilling, like especially like the one where Parker backed up and then flew towards the ball. He had to go towards it because he ended up going reverse first, and so yeah. it paid off for him to, to go towards it. But a lot of times, you can just jump, float in the air where they're going to be, and just maintain your altitude, and you either force them to go away or you force them into you, and it either way is good. Yeah. So you don't need to, like, jump at it. You can more jump sideways and just kind of, I don't know, float be, be more. Its way. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, it's like this, It's like the idea of controlling the ball and jumping for a 50, but in the air, where you're just yeah. kind of floating there, and you're like, well, come at me, ho. Yeah. Hell yeah, ho. That's, a, that's actually that's good, good advice. I haven't, uh, I don't really use that. All right, let's finish this game off. However, Parker, that save after I fucked up my challenge. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Wolves. I want to see your perspective here. I would say on this, Parker... If you see, I mean, obviously it's kind of hard to notice in the moment. If you see them that far away after this bounce off the wall, mm -hmm. you don't have to jump at it. Yeah. You can try to come and catch it. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of time here. Again, it is another, like, we're in overtime. It's a holy shit, like, where'd our comms go? No, I do like to slow the game down whenever I can, so that's yeah. good input, good input. It feels good. It feels so good when you slow the game down. You're like, yeah. all right, my, my pace, motherfuckers. You're like, let's do this. We play our game now. I like this bump from AJ. I also... I think I like this touch from AJ. Let me see it from his perspective. I do like this touch from AJ. I don't like that he doesn't leave it. But that's okay. I mean, in all fairness, if it were thing is it's aj so i don't know if i want him on the backboard but if it were me here instead we back it up to where that is i see this go i get the bump miss the touch i'm mm -hmm. going backboard you know i either to rotate up and above or even just to cover that near post option I'd probably be pushing back at that point, but yeah. I I don't I don't uh, I'm a little scared of backboard because like I said I'm not, I need to work on jumping off of the wall. But, That's fair. Um, but yeah, once I do work on that, but um, yeah, I'd probably be going back post. Well, that's why I was saying even if you just go up above and around mm -hmm. to go to become that third man. Yeah, you can still take the backboard for that. Yeah. Yeah. I Are think that one, I think our comms were probably just all sorts of fucked up. We just got pushed back. That's That was an unfortunate yeah. one, man. That was so close. Just a oh, heartbreaker. That was a heartbreaker. Look, look at this. It looks like we had full control here. I, I thought know. we did. And then I, all and of I a sudden we didn't. Like, I probably could have cut there a little sooner. Like, 
we probably all could have been up on the goal when that all happened. Like, it, it, things could have happened. Yeah. But that's okay. We live and learn. Yeah. All right. All right. So I hate to be that guy, but this is going to be the last replay I can do tonight. If we want, we can do this at some point this weekend slash next week, too. Yeah. No, that's okay. I'm feeling pretty capped out. I, I like the idea uh, of doing the, the one win, one loss. We do have to get through our, our – uh, what can we improve? Yes. Yeah, I do want to say, with this one being a contrast to your first game versus your second game, was there anything you saw in difference to your play that made you either Pog or Sag? Um, I mean, mine is mechanics, but, you know, that whole challenge off the yeah, wall. I, I still think, get yeah. pissed with myself about that. Yeah, I think mechanics for myself as well. Um, I think also communicating um, to AJ and my teammates – or I guess both of you guys. <laughs> to, to, well, I was saying, thinking specifically, it's communicating to HJ when he has time and when he can try to take it and slow it down. Um, and, like, being able to tell the people what the fuck's going on. I don't know. You know, just, like, good communication, you know? I feel like yeah. once, we, once we start falling off the communication, we get in situations like that last... 10 seconds of that game where we, where we all get clumped up in the front, they all just carry it back, and nobody's, like, really taking that initiative to challenge ball and they kind of just carry it in that's i know yeah. we've always kind of had issues calming in overtime plus yeah. i think we probably took this is that the second game we had really good comms that first game i remember i wonder if that's us taking like taking it for granted and then just being like, oh we know where where everybody is mm -hmm. um as a non-mechanical thing that I saw, because I feel like, I mean, I feel like through both these games, I could probably point out a plethora of different things where it's like, well, you could have, or you could have, you could have, like, hopped off the backboard and went to the yeah, ceiling for that. Yeah, match. But I'm not going to get into that shit. When I look uh, for best move games. Yeah, something non-mechanical I saw that Tyler's trying to do, but I don't think he's doing well, is flipping around the field. You maintain a lot of your boost. Uh, it helps with boost pathing. Uh, it, 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 like I'll see Parker pick up a 12-er, use the 12-er to get to the next 12-er, use that 12-er to get to the and then he'll be full boost, and then he can start accumulating boost and get over 12. Uh, same thing with AJ, uh, but AJ, I think, just needs all mechanics. Um, Tyler, I see you trying to do it. Uh, I, I think there's still a decent amount of mess-ups there, but the I, idea is there in your head of, like, I should be flipping to these boosts. I should be, I'm not doing you know, it efficiently. But the idea is there, so that's yeah. that's fine. But just the idea of, uh, you guys are probably not speed flipping, but that's like the main difference in the in the higher level games when everyone's at the same mechanical uh, mechanical level. Is who's the guy that's doing the little stuff? The I'm picking up a twelve, and I'm using two of that to get a flip to get the next twelve. Yeah, that that leaves me at full speed, and now I have twenty two boost versus I'm using the 12 to get the other 12 to then be full speed and have no boost. Because at some point, you're going to have to break. Yeah. Well, that was something uh, First Killer said. Uh, Park, you might not know. First Killer is a pro. Uh, that stuck with me is using your momentum and keeping your momentum is huge. Allowing yourself, you don't want to be breaking and losing your momentum a lot. You don't want to be yeah. losing it a lot unless it's like, I've gotten to the space I want to be at. Now it's time to let the play happen. Um, but when you're going back for boost, rotating off ball, those times when it's those times when it's not your turn yet, and you're just trying to get somewhere, it's you should be corner flipping, front flipping, whatever it is, get to your place by flipping because it's faster and it doesn't yeah. use boost. You know, I will say the session was just, what two weeks ago. Yeah. Since then, I have been working <laughs> on trying to flipping, trying to flip more and conserve more boost. Um, yeah, I have, I have noticed that is just the thing that I need to work on because I do use I do use a lot of boost. Yeah, it'll make it easier on you if you if you if the if if you maintain the the conscious effort to like use your flips to maintain momentum. Yeah, then it, it really it'll make your life a lot easier when you actually have to make the play. Just, yeah, just you wait till I wave dash. Just you just you wait. Oh wave! Oh, you can't. No, you can wave dash. I've seen you wave dash. Not in these games, but I've seen wait, you do wait, it. Wait, wait till you get consistent. Parker's about oh, a wave dash ceiling musty. 
So was it re- <laughs> reverse wave dash ceiling musty? Yeah, that's my that's the thing I'm I'm trying to cap as my own is the off the wall to the ceiling reverse wave dash musty backboard double touch. Musty backboard double touch. Fucking to, my asshole in the goal. Trying to call that the waffle. <laughs> Yo, throw back to the waffle flick. Well, uh, back when it actually was mine, you know that it became the slingshot. I never said anything. Yeah. I don't think I was the only person in the world to ever try, like, getting one wheel on the ground and then trying to uh, cancel backflip to get this weird scare. But, you know, I <laughs> didn't know you, about you it. you repeat that? And then I did it. To get your what? Uh, so it's like you get one your back wheels on the ground, backflip cancel to get a scare. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. A skew. Just wanted to make sure I heard that right. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, in terms of in terms of mechanics, besides AJ, you guys are all right. I mean, even when I was doing twos with Parker, I was seeing him uh, do a lot of a lot of really good things. Um, wall plays are obviously still really bad, and if you learn wall plays, that'll help you do backboard defense as well. So that's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyler, probably your mechanics are, I'd say probably the best in the group right now it's just a matter of how you want to use them efficiently like you you make the right decision to do the quick takeoff and get to the ball first to pass to parker but then it's just the precision of like where does that ball go you got there first but it's like you got there a little bit too far right so now the ball isn't going forward it's going left so it's probably just precision in that aspect i was Um, gonna say one of the things i really need to work on i don't need to be fucking air rolling every time i go up you do be getting kind of swifty with it. I kind of—I'm gonna be honest—it didn't help you, but it, it looked tight though. <laughs> it looked <laughs> sick as fuck. Imagine like, imagine like that in a highlight clip, like no context afterwards, but like it's like the intro to my to my highlight tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the the fucking spinning around, getting the shot pass. Yeah. Um. So mechanics probably a lot of things in the air. I feel like all. Besides, God, I'm just going to leave AJ out of this because he's just going to learn how to play the game. But, um, I mean, you all know how to dribble, and you all know how to hit an aerial. I've seen all of you do those things. You can get up in the air and make a touch on the ball. So that's the that's the baseline. And, Tyler, you know how to take it off the wall inconsistently, though, but you know how to yeah. take it off the wall and make a play with it there. Now it's just a matter of how do you make that a weapon and not just a tool. Yeah. Um. In terms of rotations, I mean, I saw a lot of grouping. I don't know if that's comms. I mean, like there were a lot of times I saw like, oh, all three of them right now are right behind each other, like on the side, and then someone will turn away. So it's probably comms. Um, AJ does love to sit around midfield and just go left to right to left to right to left to right, and becoming the second man every time instead of just waiting. Um, so that's that probably causes a big problem. He also um, loves to do one of my pet pe- peeves of just like hanging out underneath the ball. Yeah, and which in which you could like for my case, if I'm hanging out underneath the ball, I'm shadowing. Like I'm jumping yeah. up to like make to hit it off the backboard of our side and make that the the save. But I, he's not jumping up; he's just hanging out there. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just vibing, like watching it and. The problem with AJ as well, I'll see him try something, like jump up or something, hit it or not, and if the ball's still close to him, or if it's up in the air, he can't see his car. So he doesn't yeah. know if he's on his back or like turned around, whatever. So before he can do anything, he needs space from the ball, but he doesn't even know what direction he's facing. AJ, I think, could really benefit from getting some space on defense but then getting closer on offense. Just get there as a, as a man. Be the first man on something, right? Like, get get involved so that way you're not just, like, uh, doing the vague, hey, will I, won't I, because that makes it hard for everyone else to rotate around you. Um, but other than that, I mean, you guys are all right. I don't see anything that's like, yeah, you really got to stop doing that. Um, there were a couple um, return return ons you know of like the the especially in the back corner yeah. uh tyler you don't do it as much parker i saw you do it a couple times not too much aj does it a lot where it'll be in the back corner a touch will be made and then they just like do a 360 and then go back and do it again and really that first touch should have been a flip and sent your car out of the play 
you know, you really don't want to have it hanging out in your back corner with one guy using all his boosts while the two teammates are like sitting idly in the net. And, uh, it makes know. it really slow. Um, yeah. But, I mean, you know, I feel like you guys are figuring it out. And I, I like all the ideas you guys said. I don't think you guys said anything that I disagreed with. Hell yeah. Yay. Progress. <laughs> I will say Plus, I did like doing a VOD review. Yeah. Yeah, it's my first time on one of these. It's nice. Um, oh, shit, I had something. I don't know. Progress. It was, it was the, um, honestly, even two weeks ago, you guys were worse than you are now. Dude, we actually had multiple wins that session. Yeah, and even even in even in a week or two's time, you guys are figuring out a lot of stuff. I think if you guys just continue to get on on Thursdays, or maybe take a, a thirty minutes to run a free play or a training pack on whatever you want to learn, you guys will be just fine. You guys will hang out in Diamond, move your way up through Champ. You'll be fine. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, we the best music. Is that DJ Khaled? <laughs> Can you tell I've been up way too long and I've been working way too much this week? <laughs> we, the <best> music. <laughs> we the best. Uh, yeah, no, I had today off, but I got to work on Saturday. Dude, last night was the first night I wasn't at the school until eight o'clock. Damn. And then we still went out, like, as, like, five of us went out to dinner. And that's the only reason I didn't stay late. <laughs> and then I stayed till eight again tonight. Ugh. Oh, shit. Tomorrow's the last day, though, so it's okay. Right? It's all going to be fine. <laughs> um... Let's see. I didn't write any of this down. Tyler, did you write down the, the priorities that you guys had said? Little bits and pieces, yeah. What do you have for, for Parker and yourself in terms of mechanics and then non-mechanics? Uh, game one, Parker wants to be wants to work on his precision on the ball. He thinks he's getting a little too aggressive. And working on, what was it, recovering? Uh, second game was he wants to work on his comms with teammates and... Uh, for both of us, it was the flipping around the field. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, first game, I don't always have to touch because I look like a f fucking... Like, I look like I'm on stilt sometimes when I do that. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, <laughs> Honestly, I feel like you're fine. I don't think you miss the ball any more than any other person. Well, it's not that I'm games. missing the ball. It's that I'm taking, like, dumb touches. Oh, okay. Like Just that, make again, him play on the ball when you don't have to. Yeah. Especially, like, off of a kickoff, if I'm get, I'm receiving that first touch, like, yeah. I don't always need to touch it. It's going to the same corner anyways. Conserve that boost and just go up the wall with it. Yeah, okay, fair. I like that. Um, And then boost pathing, which I feel like I kind of got better with the second game. Yeah. Um, and then second game, flipping around the field, and then I wanted to work on my challenges off and off the wall play in general. Sure. I like, I like all of those things. I feel like those are good priorities to have. I don't think there's anything that comes first besides maybe like power on the ball, but yeah. you guys are clanging it anyways. You guys are doing fine. So yeah, no, those are great priorities. The part of the replay where I'm just like, those. and then we hit it and they hit it and we hit it. Uh, they hit it. <laughs> yeah, there definitely was a few times when I'm sitting there like, oh, this is a dribble. They're about to dribble. And then it's just like a pass back. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> it looks like a game of Pong. You guys are just throwing it. Uh, definitely, I hope AJ finds time. But just like, just, just like, I don't know, man. Do a training pack. Do, I, you know what? Don't even look up a training pack. Do like uh, one of the default, do, si not psionics ones, but like the ones that they suggest. Yeah, you could do. Uh, honestly, AJ, do a uh, do advanced aerial training. It's just gonna be the ball's gonna be sitting like three car lengths up, 
and That's it's going to be still. Just go do it. That was something I think, dude, years ago when I tried to get Parker into this game, I was like, uh, do uh, aerial advance until you can do them all without missing. Hmm. I think even I still have trouble with that. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's just a recommended pack of like always making it's a contact good with ass the ball. Pack. Yeah. Mark, do you ever do training packs? Uh, not a whole pack, no. I feel like you'd enjoy some of the custom ones. They can be really fun. Depends. I remember you told oh, me to stop dude. doing so many training packs. <laughs> you were doing, dude. You were doing some crazy ones. I fucking was. You were like, uh, you were spamming, and that, then it uh, became a point where I was one just one like cheesing them too. <laughs> I actually figured out that you can die over here, but it counts. <laughs> and I'm Basically. like, all right, man. So you can, all right, you, you know, I get or? that this is like super advanced aerial training, but if I just catch it at the bottom, <laughs> I can just <laughs> dribble it. I was something with Parker two years ago of the of the advanced training or whatever it was. He's like, I figured out if I touch it, I miss. I still have like seven seconds to grab it and then dribble it into the net. No. I'm like, well, yeah, well, you, yeah, but <laughs> that's not why you're doing the training. Um, uh, so I was winning. Uh, I do re- recommend some training. Yeah, but packs, that ten but... out of ten, Nick, with the star next to it to show that I didn't true, miss any. True. I honestly like um, I like doing free play a lot more than I like doing training packs because um, it lets you just keep going. So, like, I missed a ball. Well, how would I recover quickly in this situation? I think it really helped me on my recovery stuff. But and everyone's got their own thing. I still think Tyler shouldn't be in uh, should be in ball cam when he goes off the wall, but he makes it work somehow. I don't understand it. I, I can't do I that. I told you the reason for that, right? Uh, maybe it is like the most, it is the dumbest fucking reason. It's because when you do rings maps, the ball is just like randomly placed basically. Yeah. So you have to be off ball cam. So if you're in ball cam, it just fucks with you because then the ball just keeps falling perpetually. (laughs) So your camera is just constantly moving. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this. I, I already can't aerial. I can't do this. So you learn how to aerial off ball cam with yes. your car control? Yes. Oh no. Well, yes. that's not bad, honestly. A lot of air dribbles go off ball cam once they get the touch. Yeah, and a lot of freestylers you re- use reverse cam. I don't, I don't want to be <laughs> <laughs> Tyler in the middle of an air dribble typing into the game chat. This is going in and you guys falling like off. It. You guys like webcams? <laughs> it was like, oh yeah. Well, um, I don't think I have much more to say. I feel like you guys play great. It's just the you know the the stuff we talked about. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I I will say again, like that was the beginning. That was that was prime placement. That was the second day of the season. Mm-hmm. Dude, the the reset this uh this it was season rough. is. 200 MMR lower for the reset for most players. Ty- Dude, uh, we played, me and Troy did twos. I got close to where I was. I was surprised. Troy ended twos, GC2, Div 1. And then him and I both got placed in champ three. I got Div 4. He got Div 3, I think. Troy went down like two entire ranks, and we went seven and three. Holy shit. Yeah, it's bad. That's rough. Yeah, I, and I ch- and I place champ. Yeah, dude. Par- me and Parker play. I'm on the fucking Smurf, and he got back to champ. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Yo, remember when I used to be champ? <sighs> oh, you'll days. be champ again, man. You'll be champ again if AJ does free play. You'll be champ again. I feel like, dude. I honestly feel like you guys could be, uh, like maybe even three quarters as good as you are now. And if AJ was that same level, you guys would be like a rank and a half higher. <laughs> the real question is like, do I make a Smurf account just so look you on it and see which one gets the champ first? <laughs> do you have the patience for that, man? Diamond's uh, toxic as hell. No, I do not. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
You know what? Parker will join me. We'll do OQ in threes. Yeah, let's see. We'll have to get our uh, we'll have to get our Smurfs on. There you go. <laughs> smurfing. C team Smurfs. C team Smurfs. Smurf yeah. Squad. 